Hello everyone. My name is Prasad and I work as a web developer since many years. I mostly work in WordPress and OpenCart and I use VS Code as the editor for my projects. I was trying to create a new custom WordPress theme for my tutorials website and while working on the project I thought that if there is some way where the files I edit in VS Code are automatically uploaded to the web server when I save the file. Earlier, every time I made some change to the files and wanted to see them reflected on my website, I had to manually upload the files via FileZilla and it was an extra step which takes some time. So I searched a bit and found this great extension for VS Code which automatically uploads the file when I save the changes. In this video, I will show you how to use this extension so you can save some time in your development process. So here's my theme folder on my desktop with the, all the files needed for the new WordPress theme. And uh, now I will open this folder in VS Code Editor by right click and open with code. So now we see the folder open in VS Code and we can see all the files listed in the left hand panel. So this is the extension I found out and its name is FTP Sync and it is developed by Lukas Ronsky. Okay, now we go back to VS Code and click on Extensions. Then we type FTP-Sync in the search box and uh, we see this extension shown in the list. We click on it and then click Install. Okay, now it's installed and we see that it's enabled globally. Now we go back to our folder and press F1 key, then type FTP in the box. So we see a list. We select FTP-Sync, colon init. Okay, if you don't see it in the list, you can just type the command FTP-Sync, colon, space, init. As soon as you do it, you see that a new JSON file is automatically created in a new folder in the root of your project. This is the file where we fill up the config details for the FTP access. The first line you see is for the remote host or where you want the files to be uploaded. Don't worry, I will show you how to find the path for your remote host. In the cPanel of our web hosting, we open the file manager and click on public HTML or root in which we will see our WordPress installation files. It can be public underscore HTML or www or some other name in your case. Okay, we will now locate our theme folder and as you go inside the folders, you can see that the path is changing here. Ok, so now we are in the final location where we want our theme files to be uploaded. So we just copy this location from here and paste it in front of the forward slash. So this is our remote path. The next entries you should fill up as you would do in FileZilla. Host, username and password. Remember to enter the same details you would enter in FileZilla to connect to your FTP account. Ok, now that is complete. Then change upload on save to true from false. Keep the rest of the entries as they are. Then we copy this upload on save is equal to true line and paste it here. Now we add file extensions we want to allow to be uploaded. 
I will need PHP, CSS and JS files to be uploaded. You can add HTML if you have any HTML files in your project. Ok, so we have added the file extensions now. Now we keep the path line as it is because we are already in the same folder in VS Code. So we don't change it. Ok, now we save the file and close it. And we again press F1 and type FTP dash. We again see the list. Select FTP dash sync colon local to remote. Then choose the folder. Then we select full sync. And then we select run. Ok, now you can see the message completed successfully. So now we are done. And we will close VS Code. Here we have finished configuring the extension to work for this project. Now the steps I am going to show you should be done every time you start working on this project. We will repeat the same steps again except filling up the FTP details because the JSON file is already configured. So we open the folder in VS Code as earlier, then press F1 key, then select local to remote, select folder, then we select full sync, say run. Ok, we again see the message completed successfully. And now we are ready to work on our project. This is the home page of the site I am working on. And as you see, I am in the process of building a new theme for this website. In the header area, you can see this text here. It is very faint due to its black color. I want to make it white. So I will make changes in the CSS and see if they get reflected here after I save the file. Means the CSS file has to get uploaded automatically when I save the changes. Ok, so let's go to VS Code again. Now I will add this text color white property and I save the file. Now let's go to the home page and refresh it. And we will see if the changes reflect. Wow, that's great. We can see the text color has changed to white. Ok, just to check again, we will change the font size to 30. Ok, now save the file. Refresh the page. Great, it's reflecting the change and without us having to upload the file via FileZilla. It means our extension is working fine and it will save us a lot of time in the entire project. Thanks for watching and I hope you liked my tutorial. I will be adding many more tutorials in coming days. Please subscribe to my channel to get notified about new tutorials. Thank you.